ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you know who I am by now. It is the D-O-U-G here for the main event, where we go over everything in wrestling that happened during the main event. Of course, joining me tonight, I got the lovely queen of extreme, Miss Kara. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I am doing freaking amazing tonight. Just pumped for the show. Well, since it is just me and the lovely Kara tonight, we may as well just start off with WWF Raw. Yeah, let's just be honest. The main event was probably the worst main event of the week. It was John Cena and the cryback, the ride bitch, the gold boys jockstrap. Uh, I could, you can make your own joke at this point, people, in a tables match. Didn't we see this bullshit at Extreme Rules, if I remember correctly? You know, the last pay-per-view, and it stunk. <laughs> That's exactly what I fucking said. I'm like, we just saw this shit. When, if, if, seriously, it this shouldn't have to be the main event on, like, a Raw, because, really, the match wasn't as interesting in the first place. You don't have to make a fucking another. It was boring as hell. Yeah, the only good thing about this match, in my opinion, was the ending when Daniel Bryan came out. And I said it on Monday, and I'm going to say it again here. Did it look like when Cena ripped the title out of Bryan's hand, Cena kind of had that evil look of, like, I hate you? Excuse me. Yeah, I I, I kind of saw it, but I really didn't think anything of it, honestly. Mm. Uh, Definitely understandable on that. Um. So we, we already know Daniel Bryan seeing our facing at SummerSlam. I'm still wondering if the Bella Twins are going to be involved or is the one who gets to have sex with both of them, which that would actually make me want to win the damn match. <laughs> Winner take all. Yeah, that's what it should be called. Winner take all. It takes the title, takes the women, takes the bedroom. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, WCC main event. We have dirty minds. If somebody has to. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, before we get to the main event show, um, I may as well just talk about it since it's already been talked over the place. At the show in South Africa, Randy Orton was an attack by an audience member, and the attacker pled guilty today. Here's my question. How dumb is the security in Africa that you could not fucking tell that dude was not a goddamn wrestler? I'm sorry. I've seen women look who are more manly than the guy who attacked Randy Orton. You know, my, my comments are this because it's, been broadcasted everywhere and personally I could care less about the situation because I don't like Randy Orton but I mean come on security is so fucking stupid they even let the guy go through half the time they really can't even get near the ring like outside of the barriers without being stopped by security just saying unless it's scripted and that obviously wasn't so yeah just if that saying. was scripted if that was scripted, I'll tell you what. All Let's Play WCW Backstage Assault. <laughs> God knows that game sucks. Um, Did you know got... if Randy Orton ended up, like, suing him or something yet? No, right now, just uh, WWE is not going to do anything. Randy Orton is not going to do anything. So they're taking the high road on this one. So Okay. <laughs> it's just Africa going to make his life a living hell. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens, and Orton fans, too. Uh, well, Orton's always life as hell. All right, moving on to the main event, which is, of course, Miss Kayla. She cannot watch it because, and I know most of you can't watch it because you don't have the damn station. I can understand that. So let's just go over exactly what happened this week. Wade Barrett, my big brother, finally gets a win this month. Well, wait, we just started August. I finally gets a win over all truth The match was very good. Um... The end of the match, in case if you did not watch it, was right when R-Truth was going to jump through the ropes, Wade Barrett says, fuck you, and hits the bull hammer. In better words, R-Truth, you got knocked the fuck out. And he Wade got got, was... man. Yeah, he got got. He... he got got good. Now, the next match is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to clarify that probably on my mom's TV... I have the channel. I just don't care to watch it. Ah, thank you for clearing that up then. <laughs> Next, we have a tag team match. The Usos taking on the prime time players. Now, the Usos would win this match, and believe it or not, billions I actually... Of dollars, billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Yeah, they should use those billions of dollars at Walmart, so that's the only thing they're going to be able to use them at this point. Um, oh. But honestly enough, 
Yeah, I did that. It was a very good match, and unfortunately, since I know Big Red's not with us, so he would be the only one who would know what was said during the match, but I will say it for everybody. Josh Matthews said Titus O'Neil went to the University of the Florida Gators. Let it sit there for a minute. Okay, the minute's up. For the love of God, do not let this dude have a mic. Do not let this dude near a gun. As a matter of fact, don't let this dude near anybody. Don't let Titus O'Neil near anybody, because either he's going to shoot somebody, or he's going to do Brad Cooper from the Eagles and say the N-word in front of a national concert, national audience. Oh, God. It's pretty sad when Tim Tebow, who is the only one from Florida right now, who's the only one who's not a jackass. By the way, I love you, Tebow. No, no hating on you, just hating on your school. The end of the main event, which, yeah, it was more Kennedy versus Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I don't think we need to say who won this match, right? It was Drew uh, I Honestly, I want to say, because, you know, obviously when someone goes up against Mark Henry and it's a jobber, Mark Henry's going to win. I just would like to say I don't like how they treat Drew McIntyre because I actually like Drew, and once upon a time they actually used him pretty good, and now they're using him as a jobber, which he has more talent than everyone puts him as. Just yeah. saying. Now, be- now, before anyone types on the little c- computer and say, oh, Doug, Ma- Mark Henry won, not Drew McIntyre, I was trying to fake some people out who are listening. Unfortunately, that probably didn't go over well because Sarah didn't buy it. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. All right, Mark Henry wins that one with fucking ease. Now, Miss Kara, I'm sure you know what happened last night on TNA, correct? Oh, God, shoot me now. We have to talk about it. The August 1st warning. Yeah, okay, if you haven't figured out by now, it was Tank Abbott. I mean, it was Ken Shamrock. I mean, it was uh, Daniel McGillicuddy. I mean, it was a... Uh, t- uh, some dude from Zombie Strippers, Titus Lou, whatever his fucking name is. I don't even care to remember, okay? I'm sorry. Titus, what was his name again? Beats me. Exactly. There's the point, everybody. If, in case I know Personally, somebody... I couldn't give two shits about this guy. I didn't know who he was. So, and everyone, even the fucking crowd, had no reaction for him. He just stood there to a silent crowd. It was like crickets going off. It was and I'm Ortiz, like, the what the fuck? Is this MMA or what? Yeah, um, I know a lot of people don't understand why a lot of us wrestling fans are mad. I'm like, yeah, let's remember, Tito Ortiz, when I think of wrestling, he's not the first thing that comes to my mind. And I'm just going to say it, I think there's the only having him there to build up the MMA match between him and Rampage at the November, Bella Tot, we're going to beat the fuck out of each other and drink a beer match. And yes, I See, you that. know, and everyone knows on TNA Recipe that I did a lot of bitching about this. Now, um, for everyone in the YWC, I would just like to freaking say, honestly, this is a wrestling business. It's been done before, but there's a proper way to do it. TNA has no fucking clue how to properly build a kind of storyline like this. And honestly, they're letting go of all these good wrestlers and bringing in washed-up UFC people or MMA people. Like, seriously, this isn't MMA. This is wrestling. Bring someone you can actually wrestle. God damn. I definitely agree with that. Um, of course, as many of us who, as many people who did listen to TNA Recipe, which they read, Yes, I'm plugging your show again, Red. You don't have to, you know, say thank you. It's just because, well, I like to be the jackass on the show. Um, I made some jokes about this. Um, so let's just make some more jokes. Um, ECW Anarchy Wars would be a better match than having Tito Ortiz there. Um, seen and I know Kevin. I've made a joke about this already. I would say I would rather have David Arquette win the WCW Championship again than see this shit. Ooh, I'd rather watch Street Fighter The Legend of Chun Li before I watch this match. I would I'd rather watch, watch reruns of House than watch this. Ooh, um, I would rather watch Leprechaun in the Hood. I would <laughs> rather watch a WWE remake of The Leprechaun. Ooh. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, we don't hate on Tina, we just hate on the stupid ending because, believe it or not, the Tina show was great till the worst. 
we will ever. This is as bad as the stupid goblin goop coming out of the egg at the Survivor Series. No, I think that, no, I think Tito Ortiz is stupider than the gobbly gooper. That's sad. Oh, God. He, the gobbly gooper has more talent than Tito Ortiz. And uh, I think that's going to take care of all the hate mail we're going to get from TNA fans. So if you want to send that hate mail to us, just send it to either Doug Barrett at GoScrewYourself.com or Miss Carol at She's Going to Hit You With a Nightstick.com. And the, <laughs> ah, there's a laugh, yes. I like making people up. Now, before we get to SmackDown, I would like to remind everyone listening out there through YouTube right now, or Facebook, or people who didn't call in tonight, which makes me a sad doink the clown, please support your local independent wrestling organization because, well, why? So we don't have to see more Ryback and Tito Ortiz. That, that just kills the sport. Now, So we can actually see wrestling, people. Tune too, in. Which... Which we're going to get to some, we're going to make some independent fans very happy after SmackDown and I'll explain. But we got to start off with SmackDown now. Pretty much SmackDown this week, a lot of people I know love the sports, so let's just get to the big news of the night, which was the main event. It was Christian taking on Rob Van Dam taking on Randy Orton, if I remember correctly, right? Randy fucking bullshit Orton. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Why was Randy Orton in this match? He was, he got the money in the bank briefcase, and no one knew, everybody knew he wasn't going to win. Seriously. Honestly, I think the only reason he was put in there is because he's a big money in the bank person, and they're still trying to overhype him, which he really doesn't need. I definitely agree. I mean, the only way I would, the only way he could even won was if they were even planning on him winning both belts and even find the belts, but that ain't going to happen because who got the title shot? Corporal Cajun. I mean, Captain Charisma Christian. So I'm sure Ellis... Okay, okay, okay. I just want to say... I just want to say that when I was watching the announcement and she was announcing all the people, I'm like, okay, you had great suggestions up until Randy Orton came out. But anyway, like, (laughs) I was glad to see Christian out there, but I was really pulling for RVD to win, which didn't happen. But... Alas, I'm okay with whatever. Yeah, I've got to be honest. When they announced the three who were announced, my first thought was, um, okay, it ain't going to be Orton because he's got the blue, he's got the damn red briefcase, so that ain't going to happen. RVD just came back from another company, and I'm like, all that leaves is Christian, and I'm only basing on the fact Christian won Monday, so I'm like, yeah, it's probably going to be Christian now. I do think it's funny that originally it was going to be Del Rio versus Ricardo, which uh, his announcer, which, yeah, I probably would have said his announcer would, would have won that match, which is sad. You know, actually, I would have loved to see that match because I've seen some Ricardo matches in some of the indie scene. He actually is really fucking good as a wrestler. Just yes, say. he is. Unfortunately, WWE uses him for his voice. But this brings up a question now, and I wish Al was in here, and of course... Paul Martin, I wish it was in here as well because they're both going to be at SummerSlam. So I ask you this then. Which title match seems to be more important? Which one would get is going to sell the tickets? John Cena and Daniel Bryan or Christian versus Dario? Well, honestly, I think based on popularity, because, you know, every match John Cena's in is more popular, that's going to be the more of the money maker. But, honestly, I could find myself way more interested in the Del Rio Christian match rather than that match. But it, it's all based on who's bigger in the company, and that is definitely between John Cena and Daniel Bryan. So, mm-hmm. I, You know what? I'm actually going to say, you know, I love that DB, but I got to say I'd rather see the Del Rio Christian rivalry because that rivalry was good when they had it. And, well, which ended about as fast as Christian dropping the belt to Randy Orton, go figure. And i got to be honest, I just feel this their style of match would be a little bit more fun to watch than Daniel Bryan trying to make Cena look good. <laughs> well, he's not going to, like, John, uh, not John Cena, Daniel Bryan, he can make a lot of people look good. He can, you know, face people in matches without making them look bad. But he can also make himself look good as well. Unfortunately, John Cena can't do that because he has to bury everyone that he fucking faces. Everyone. 
Uh oh, who just came in? Oh, we came through the door. Hey, what's good? It's Mr. Thursday night. What's up, y'all? We already what's passed up? Thursday night, you're late. <laughs> Yeah, obviously you're not Mr. Friday night either. Yeah, I got caught up in something, but I'm good now. Oh, don't play your girlfriend. <laughs> you, I'm an asshole, Red. You know that. Well, welcome to the show, Red. We just we just got done asking Kayla the question. So I'm gonna ask you this: You you watch SmackDown tonight? Um, which title match do you want to see more of? Uh, which one do you think would sell tickets more? Senior De- John Cena, Daniel Bryan, or Abota Del Rio versus Christian? Daniel Bryan versus John Cena. <laughs> well, which one do you want to see the most out of those two as well? That that was the other part. Daniel or Bryan and John Cena. I, I was no, I was thinking that uh, it was going to be RVD picking up the win and not Christian. Hmm. I, I, I mean, a lot of people were picking Ravi, Ravi and Damn Damn. I, I, that's well, surprising like, me, but just because he just came back. No, I mean, RVD's good and all, but he's not as lazy as he was in TNA, but still, I'm surprised a lot of people are picking him. Well, I think RVD has a lot of hype for the return, so him winning that match would have added a lot more hype between, mm-hmm. like, all the fans and stuff. And I think the reason I was picking him was because well, it's really based on that. But there was also that thing with Christian, because I knew there was no way in hell that Randy Orton was going to win it. Now, in the situation he's in. Mm. Well, other than that was SmackDown. <laughs> uh, really not a lot of things changed. I mean, at least in the, my eyes. I mean, the main event was pretty much the Porter match. Now, of course, like we do, before we get to the big thing I want to talk about, the best main event this week, looking at everything, and I'm going to talk about it now, is, of course, the Austin Aries versus AJ Styles match. That had to be the best main event of this week, no doubt. Oh, hell yeah. Agreed. When it comes to main event matches, that freaking dominated everything, except the ending of the show, which was complete bullshit. Which is why I saved one of the two best parts of the main event for last, which was that. Austin Aries would get seven points, um... You know, I'm still, I understood why it was the main event, but I still feel it should have been Mr. Maniac versus Chris Saban, but that's my opinion. But still, great job to Aries and Austin. You did everyone proud in that. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, everybody, I think we know what's going to be taken away from TNA last night, which was Tank Abbott appearing on TNA. And, and the, the thing about that was, when he came out there, I don't know if anybody noticed, like, in the right bottom hand screen, it was it was a dude out there when he came out. And you know how, like, when you see something, you wave your hands and be like, oh, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what they did, dude, when he saw Tito Ortiz come out there. He was like, oh, man, I thought it was somebody good. Man, go on with this shit. <laughs> yeah, we were not that lucky, unfortunately. Now, because I know we've been getting a lot of mail on this from every show that we're on. We get either mail or comments on YouTube or everyone asking this. We're actually going to talk about Ring of Honor now. So all you Ring of Honor fans, all you independent fans, stop sending me fucking mail about it, would you please? We're going to make you happy now for about five seconds. Now, before I continue, does anyone else watch Ring of Honor besides me? I've watched a couple. So, I mean, uh-huh. I have some... Experience with Ring of Honor. I don't get to watch because they don't air it down here, but I try to catch it on YouTube when I can when I see you post it up. Um, there, there's actually a site that you can watch on. You sign up for a membership, which is completely free, and you can watch it online. Now, um, Big Red, what part of Texas do you live in? Because I know you live uh, in Texas. I'm in Dallas. Dallas, Dallas. <laughs> So I have the TV listing up. I, be, I know they air in Dallas. I just don't remember what part. Cause I know they got it in Austin, San Antonio, some area in Texas starting with a fucking B, uh, which I can't even pronounce. Oh, they do not have it in Dallas. Well, my bad. <laughs> Move to Austin. <laughs> yeah, they need, to, they need to get that shit down here for real because I would watch it if they had it down here. Oh, uh, 
Well, I'm sure Red will still be able to help us with some things because that is how he was. But let's go over what recently happened last weekend. Now, of course, if you have not watched it yet on Ring of Honor, you plan on watching it tomorrow, this is the part where you do the earmuffs. Or if you're a fan of Ring of Honor, you already know what's going to happen. So let's start. We have new tag team champions in Ring of Honor, um, and they're also the new uh, the IWGP Junior Tag Team Champions. The Forever Hooligans won the mat, won the titles last weekend from Red Dragon. No, not the Red Dragon from Mortal Kombat, if anybody's even thinking that. Um, Forever Hooligans would win this match, and tomorrow night they will be defending it against the American Wolves. The winners will face Red Dragon in a rematch. Now. That being said, i got to ask this question. Who do you think will be facing Red Dragon at the next big pay-per-view for Ring of Honor? The American Wolves, which are Davey Richards and uh, some guy who looks like Ed Grimley. Yes, we're going old, folks. Or Rocky Ramona and Alex Kosloff of the Forever Hooligans. I honestly think, and I've seen the Forever Hooligans in the match, and I think they are really good competitors. Um, I haven't seen much of the others, but I've seen maybe one or two matches. Honestly, I think the hooligans will move on to face them. Mm-hmm. All right, and Big Red? I haven't seen none of these guys. Oh, damn. Go to YouTube, my friend. By the way, the YouTube other part is of your best YouTube. friend. Yeah, I know. I'm going to ask you know that. Right? Well, well, By besides, the way, besides David Richards, I've seen him. Right, well, it's Eddie Edwards who the other one was. I just had to be a smart ass. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take the Forever Hooligans as well. Now, let's talk about the big thing that's going on in Ring of Honor. As many of you know who are listening or have been following me on WCC for the last ooh, few months, there was no heavyweight champion. Jay Briscoe was stripped of the belt due to injury, so they started a tournament which started last week. Uh, the first one was a qualifying match to see who would go against Tomasa Champa. We all know that name, hopefully. He is fucking nuts. But who would have the honor of getting the ass kicked by him? It would be Sarah Young defeating Adam Page and George Gift, QT Marshall, in a triple threat match. Also, from that night, we have Jay Lethal versus Sanjay Dutt, which was a great match, by the way. Jay Lethal would advance. He will be taking on Adam Cole in the second round of the tournament, which will act, which you'll see that match tomorrow night as well. And Kyle Anderson, yes, Machine Gun Kyle Anderson, all the way from Japan, defeated ACH, who is also known as the Black Billy Kidman. Yes, I'm sorry, I had to do it. He got his asshole. ass kicked though by Kyle Anderson. And you're welcome. I, I love being an asshole. So he will advance. Um, now I'm just going to go say once the- again, fuck you, Doug Barrett. You're welcome. <laughs> Just bring the handcuffs first, then we can talk. Yes, this show is now rated XXX, children. Hide your parents. Hide your kids. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you're in Ring of Honor land now. Um, oh, the other first round matches, which I want to get everyone's opinion on, because these are the matches you'll be seeing this weekend on... Well, when they eventually are, unless you have the uh, <clears throat> Ring of Honor thingy. Uh, the first one we're going to be talking about, Tomasa Champa will take on Sarius Young. Tomasa Champa, self-explanatory, anyone who's watched him, he's fucking nuts. Mr. Young, yeah, he's the snidely whiplash of Ring of Honor, so... Yeah, I'm taking Tomasa Champa. You know, I think Young's going to get his ass handed to him. <laughs> I hope he gets his ass handed to him. I, 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 want, I want, like, Young to win for a weird reason. Just because I want to see what they do, but hang out with the other guy. I gotta actually have to watch tomorrow, to be honest with you. I've got it's everything way, situated for that shit. It's hey, guys, way. I'm going to head off, but... Uh, Talk to you guys later. Oh, the way I was right. Have fun. Oh, we're, we're, we're trying to. Um, of course, That's the other matches... Here. You're going to have fun. Oh, I know we will. The other first round matches as well. Mike Burnett taking oh. on B.J. Whitmer. 
Uh, by the way, everybody knows Mike Burnett as the sloppy seconds to CM Punk. Uh, Paul London will be taking on Michael Elgin. I'm, I, that's the reason I got this, just to watch Paul London, man. Uh, London, Matt London Taven. and Kendrick. Mm. Matt Taven will be taking on Roderick Strong. Who, believe it or not, Roderick Strong was at the first Bound for Glo- uh, Bound for Glo- yeah, 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 yeah. Damn painkiller. At the Bound for Glory pay-per-view back all the way when TNA was in the NWA. So, a little bit of history. 2005-ish? I think. I in the last year. First round match of the tournament. The Brian Kendrick taking on somebody we were talking about on Overload this past Tuesday, Kevin Steen. Ooh, you know, I, I do like Kendrick, but I, I have the weirdest feeling that he's just going to get his ass kicked. I want, I want Kendrick to win, trust me, but Kevin Steen's a beast, period. Okay, and Big Red, out of those matches I just named, which one are you taking as the one you want to see the most? I'm going to have to go uh, maybe the Brian Kendrick and uh, Kevin Steen. I actually want to see that right there. I, 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 actually, I want to see that, man. I'm actually going to take Paul London and Michael Elgin because the winner of that match takes on Machine Gun Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson. Yes, and of course, like I said earlier, the other match happening that's in the tournament tomorrow night is Adam Cole taking on Jay Lethal in the second round. Oh, Jay Lethal better be winning that one. Now, Adam Cole. out of the ones who are left, because I'm going to count the ones that are still in first round matches, you got Cole, Lethal, Champa, Young, Burnett, Whitmer, Kyle Anderson, London, Elgin, the television champion Matt Taven, who... He's kind of like the disco in front of it, in my opinion. And Roger Storm, Brian Kendrick, and Kevin Steen, who is going to make it to the finals? I got London. You got London versus who? Uh, dude, he's facing already. I, I got him going over it. And that's, he said he gets to the I finals, guess. he can the face Adam Cole. Lethal, Champa, oh, Young. Oh, uh, I want to see. I want to see Lethal and London go at it. All right, so we got one person. Big Red. What about you? Fuck Adam Cole. Yeah, that that would be a that would be a sick ass match. London and Lethal. Yeah. I mean, it it it's it, it, just the name of it sounds awesome. <laughs> that I mean, is we, we, we see Lethal and Kendrick go at it. I want to see London and him go at it. That's I would. Good match mm-hmm. right there, man. And Big Red, I'm taking a guess you're going to agree with him as well, correct? Right. You know who else I wouldn't like seeing going at it though too? Ew. Paul London versus Brian Kendrick. I've been waiting. Ooh. I've been asking people about that whole. What, what, what would you guys think of those matches? And it's like nobody agrees with me that that sounds like an awesome match. If now the only way you'll see Paul London and Brian Kendrick happen, they're facing each other off in the the second half of the um. Semi of the semifinals match because oh, the tournament yeah. setup was already apparently done and yeah, but for me, I'm actually going to take Jay Lethal on one side, but I'm going to take the man who should have been Ring of Honor champion to start with, but he didn't want to get handed the title, and that's Michael Elgin. That's probably a good, decent match. But that got one him the end of the pay-per-view takes place at uh, Death Before This Honor, which is uh, which is in Philadelphia, uh, which is in the old ECW area, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Which go into that should be interesting. Um, by the way, other than that, that's pretty much it for the main event, guys. I don't know if you guys want anything else. You guys want to talk about anything in Ring of Honor oh. or anything in general? Uh, anything in general, but I just remembered, Kurt Angle got arrested today, everybody, so yay. Oh, oh I, I, I want to talk about something. Yeah, he got he got arrested again. His, his mugshot's like on on every website now. But I want to talk about something. I want to go back a little bit. Um, after the pay-per-view of Money in the Bank, y'all said Christian should hang it up, and I'm the only one that said Christian's going to get a title shot by SummerSlam. This past Monday, I was the one that said Christian's going to become the number one contender. What happened tonight? I was writing both those shit. Screw you, Baron. You told me he wasn't. 
You were one of them. Kara was the other one that argues about that. And I said Christian's going to get that. Christian's a little going on a little slump now. He's going to go back up, and he's getting a world title shot at SummerSlam. Fuck you. Well, I, remember, I had Christian getting the U.S. title match. So I was close. He, he is getting a title match. He did get a title now. match. I'm sick. Uh, I, I put that out there. So I got it half right, and, and half is better than none. Um, what about uh, Tito Ortiz? Tito Ortiz. Well, then, Joe, I'll ask you this question then. Which match are you looking forward to then, the WWE title match or the war title match? You know, I, I, the only reason I'm going to pick this match is because I, the outcome that's going to happen. The WWE title match, because the going to cash in the money in the bank. And the wow. reason why it, it, it's out there, because McMahon doesn't like Brian. And they don't want to see another Cena and Brian match because that's it. It's one for the ages. You don't want to be like the Rock and Cena going at it again. No, it, it, that's it. I'm going to see Wooten either turning heel turn or cash in and getting a bigger pop. But I, I, it's a match I want to see. Because I've already seen Del Rio and Christian. Ladder match, TLC, Edge retired that year. And I've, I've seen that in a ladder match. So they can't top that off. Brian versus Cena. I also I want to see how Brian's going to win. Red, I know you probably watched this, the DVR, but it, <clears throat> TNA's one night only event. Do you want to go over that tonight or save it for Thursday? The TNA main event? Uh, no, the one night only. Um, oh, the one night only? Night. Uh, but I haven't seen that yet. I haven't well, seen that. I, I haven't seen that either. Uh, I was just asking because uh, I'm going to say it now. Uh, <clears throat> What were the matches? Just tell me the matches. I'll probably... Okay. Now, this, I'm just going to say the first name, and this is going to tell you it was pre-recorded. Matt Morgan in a Gauntlet Battle Royal takes on Johnny Devine, Sharkboy, Chase Stevens, Cassidy Riley, Robbie E., Jesse Gord, Gorzaz, Mr. Anderson, Johnny Swinger, and Joseph Parks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pre-ordered. A couple of them weren't even there anymore. Yeah, so... Yeah, this was pre-recorded, guys. Unfortunately, it did take place on March 17th because, yeah, some of the people or other groups oh, spoiled it. So I already know what happened, unfortunately. That's why I wanted to ask you guys. What, uh, what are your guys' opinion on uh, August 1st? I know it wasn't worth the wait. <laughs> uh, I think we I all thought said it was a good joke. Uh, we would want Steve Mongo McMichael back. Oh, and yeah. the whole the Doink the Clown thing? Let me realize what, why I said that. You see, the, you can't do another Doink the Clown because he owns that, and now he's dead. It's like making another Blue Blazer. You can't do it because the guy's dead. That's the only reason I said you can't do Doink. Everybody else I'd like to see, but Doink you can't because that's it. He owns the right to Doink. The only reason Eugene became Doink was because he said it's okay. Now that he's dead, he, he, his wife owns the name, and he's not. it's not going to sell. That's like... Owen Hart's wife, that whole dispute, they're not going to bring back the Blue Blazer character because he's dead, and it's an insult to the family. That's the only mm-hmm. reason I said that in your uh, little spiel. I ain't yelling at that shit. I know Red has an opinion on this one. <laughs> the Red? Uh, hell, I thought that uh, WWE on the right to do it to Cloud Handle. So many people that don't play them since... No, because he was alive, and he accepted. He, he said, "Okay, that's fine." He actually did. He actually came back as Doink the Clown, you know, in, in his independent circuit. That's why you, you didn't see him anymore because he started doing it again. For a while, he was doing it himself. Like at WrestleMania, he did himself. But after that, he was doing Doink the Clown and independent circuits. I right, well, and, so hold on. I gotta. I gotta do something for a second. Uh, if you're wondering how you can join us on any of our WCC shows, either be mine, the main event, where of course you know where you can find him at Thursday nights on the TNA recipe, which we will be going over. I'm gonna say Big Red, um, the pay per view tonight. Once we all can get a shot to watch it, and next week's show, correct? Yeah, I'm gonna try. To, yeah, I'm gonna try to watch it uh, probably in the morning. Yeah. Okay. I'll, if, uh, if you can't watch it, or you, um, something, I'll. Uh, Send you a probably to take the notion we'll have it up by then. Um, I, uh, if you want to join us on any of our shows, all you got to do is call 769 
569-7676, excess code 200446, pound. The same thing he did to call the WCW hotline back in the 90s. Yes, Are you I'm going to join me at any time of those things? Don't call that number. Just find me at a bar. Well, Joe, besides, besides the local ball, where can we find you at when you're not on WCC? You actually can find me on Twitter at, at RealHickaholic. Follow me there. I sent some oh, tweets here and there. Other than that, oh, man, man. You can find me on WCC Brawl Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can talk to me on Uncut Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't call into any other shows except unless something really cool happened. <laughs> Other than that, you'll find me everywhere else. And Mr. Big Red, besides Thursday nights, where can we find you at? Hey, you can find me on Twitter at RedDone81. That's R E D D O N 81. Also, on Facebook, my like page. You can find me in the group, Wrestling Commentary Central. You can find us in the other group, WCC Brawl. Just find me everywhere. Mm. And I'm going to go, go down the street. If you're not down there, you're lying. Oh, God. That, that was my line. And of course, you can find me on YouTube at Bugbed619, Part 2. I review, let's try and do anything I feel like because I can. So until next time, this is the leader of the Nation of Domination, Big D, D-O-U-G, here with his cohorts, Joe Crush, Big Red Vega, and the lovely Miss Kara Simmons. <laughs> yes, I'm in that kind of mood tonight. We will see you next week for the main event. Until then, have a good weekend, everybody. Peace.